This video will provide you with step-by-step -step instructions on how to install a face of wall steel weave grill with stainless steel guides. This installation video is only meant to help demonstrate the procedures described in the full installation and maintenance manual. It is not a substitute. Only trained door systems technicians should install or perform maintenance on doors. For electrical connections, only trained electrical technicians should perform these operations. As with any installation, there are critical steps that must be taken before any install work can actually begin. You want to review materials, make sure that you have all components, and review the installation instructions and drawings. If any components have been damaged, complete a freight damage form in the installation instructions if necessary. This is very important. We are not responsible for any charges incurred through missing parts, operation, or damage due to improperly installed door assemblies. Once you've completed your pre-installation checks, start by checking your job construction drawings. In this video, the steel weave grill will be mounted face of wall with stainless steel guides. The stainless steel guides come in a two-piece slide fit construction pre-assembled from the factory. You will notice that they do not have any visible fasteners. Before starting the guide installation, you will have to disassemble the guides. Once the guides are in two pieces, you will begin the installation by mounting the fascia side guide to the wall first. This is what the fascia side guide looks like, and this is what the coil side guide looks like. Start by measuring the wall opening and specified setback. This distance is referred to as the distance between guides. Check the distance between these marks and compare that with the job construction drawings. Please note if the measurement does not equal the dimensions on the job construction drawings, stop. Next you will scribe a plumb line on the wall from the marks on the counter to check for level. At this time, we would also recommend confirming that the counter is level. If either are out of square, make note of the difference and accommodate by using a shim when installing the guide. Place the fascia side guide against the scribed line. Check the top of the guide for level and mark the location of the wall fastener mounting hole. Drill mounting holes for the wall fasteners and fasten the guide with the hardware provided. Check the job construction drawings for the required wall fasteners. Finally, tighten the wall fasteners to the recommended installation torque in the torque specification table in section 6 of the installation manual. Next, we will be installing the wall brackets. These brackets will be used to support the coil assembly. Start by placing the wall bracket on top of the already mounted fascia side guide while ensuring the slot on the wall bracket aligns with the tab on the guide. Be sure to check the wall brackets for level and mark the location of the wall fastener mounting holes. Next, you will drill the mounting holes for the wall fasteners and fasten the wall bracket with the hardware provided. Check the job construction drawings for the required wall fasteners. Then, tighten the wall fasteners to the recommended installation torque. Next, we will be installing the coil assembly. Please note that the barrel, curtain, bottom bar, and brackets will come assembled from the factory in a crate. You will start by removing the coil assembly from the crate using the straps. Make sure the straps are placed wide enough apart as to not damage the curtain. Place the skidded coil assembly on the ground and remove the straps. This steel weave grill is being installed with a tube motor, which comes installed in the shaft. At this time, you will loosely install the lower carriage bolts. Next, you will measure the distance between the brackets and compare that to your wall brackets. This is to ensure that the inside of the coil assembly bracket meets with the outside of the wall bracket. 
Prior to raising the coil assembly, be sure to position the brackets in the upright position with the mounting holes facing the wall. It may be difficult to rotate the bracket if you are too close to the wall. Next, you will lift the coil assembly using the skid and center the coil assembly between the guides while leaving enough room that you will not hit anything with the coil assembly. Now you can slowly maneuver the coil assembly towards the guide and align the mounting holes of the brackets with those of the wall brackets. Insert the top bracket hardware first while making sure the carriage bolt head faces the center of the door. Then proceed to hand tighten. Next, you will ensure that the lower bracket hardware that was installed loosely earlier slides into the open slot on the wall bracket. At this point, you will check to see that the barrel is positioned properly between the brackets. There should be an even amount of space between the operator and the non-operator side. If that is not the case, you will need to adjust. Next, you will place the level in the center of the curtain. The shaft must be level for proper operation. If the shaft is not level, loosen the bolts, reposition, and then re-tighten the bolts. You then want to recheck and make sure it is level. If it is level, you will fully tighten the bolts, and you can proceed with snipping the banding and removing the skid from the coil assembly. It is now time to hook up the electrical for the tube motor as usual. You will now snip the metal banding to release the curtain. You want to start by ensuring that the bottom bar bearing is inside of the fascia side guide flange. Next, you will raise the coil side guide approximately one and one quarter inch higher than the already installed fascia side guide to align the key slots with the slip fit fasteners. Then you will push the coil side guide into the fascia side guide and tap down until the guides are flush at the bottom and slip fit is snug. Lastly, you will secure the guide in place with the top fastener to bracket. Next, you will direct the curtain into the guides. Then you will slowly cycle the door about 10 times while watching to make sure that the end locks do not come into contact with the bell mouth or the bracket plate. You also want to make sure that the curtain is wrapping straight. If you notice that the curtain is coning, check to make sure that the shaft is level. If the shaft is not level, you will have to adjust the shaft laterally using the shaft collar. Now it is time to set the limits. Please be extremely careful while setting the limits of your steel weave curtain. Start by setting the upper limit to the desired height. Please note that the wall brackets have integrated stoppers to act as guides for the upper limit, but should not be used to stop the bottom bar. Next, you want to raise the curtain up to 3 inches below the desired height and slowly adjust the limits one click at a time until the upper limit is reached. If you set the lower limit too low, you can cause permanent damage to the curtain, which could require replacement. Now you will lower the door to approximately 3 inches above the floor or the desired closed position. Slowly adjust the limits one click at a time until the lower limit is reached. The limits of the curtain are now set. We can now install the stainless steel coil side hood, as usual. Because this unit is small, the coil side hood is in one single piece. Please note that a larger door will come with a two or three piece coil side hood and would require a hood support. The last step is to ins install the end caps. Thank you for watching our step-by-step -step instructions on how to install a face of wall steel weave grill with stainless steel guides. As a reminder, full installation instructions can be found on our dealer resource center or public website. If you have any questions in the field, our support center can be reached at 1-800-233-8366, extension 4799.